Peace in from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Advertising. Stan Jabalisco here, just out of surgery, where they cut me wide open. <clears throat> they put me on some kind of powerful downers that are starting to wear off so I can talk to you. But I'm not here to talk about painkillers and my own ailments and why they cut me open, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. I'm here to talk about the task of getting to the hospital in the first place this morning. <clears throat> I had three different taxi cab companies lined up to take me there because I would not be allowed to drive home under the influence of all those powerful meds. So I called cab company number one and they couldn't get me there in time. Called cab company number two and they were booked up for some reason or another. I don't know why the heck called cab company number three and they too were unable to get me there on time. Now this was well, well an hour in advance about seven in the morning had to be there at eight. I am the Raja of redundancy. I have backup after backup after backup. I have a backup for my backup, a backup for my backup for my backup, a backup for my backup for my backup for my backup and so on down the line probably six or seven times redundant. So I called option number four. <clears throat> option number four was a w really good friend who I'd talked to in advance about this and said he could do it if no one else would. So at seven in the morning I called my next door neighbor and he agreed to take me and we went. But the lesson is this, have a redundant set of options always available. Ha you don't necessarily have to go out six or seven times, but if you have a, a system upon which something critical depends, a system of any kind, electronic, uh, you, well, you know the drill, anything that you're going to need to work. There they go with that siren again. They're testing that siren again. And they're blowing what they used to call the old air raid uh, warning when the, we were afraid the Cubans were going to deliver missiles at us. And they developed this whole system of sirens. Now they use them for tornadoes. I'm just sort of digressing because I can hear them. And for a minute, I didn't know what it was. Now, well, I, I guess the missiles are coming this time. <laughs> Last time they told me they were testing it. Now, it... That gives you an idea of how laid back the town I live in is. They blow the air raid sirens, the sirens that tell you that uh, doom is at hand. And then you call up City Hall and they tell you they're testing. <laughs> What's going to, you know, are they crying wolf too, mo too much? Well, that's another thing. Don't cry wolf. But getting back to the subject at hand, I'm rambling a bit because I'm still probably a little bit doped. I've been doped for a long time with all these pain meds and various tranquilizers and everything like that. But I still have something I think makes sense and it should be clear to every good engineer. And that is to have a redundant set of options and, and your computer backups too. I have three different kinds of media on which I back my stuff up. I do it on a regular basis. I keep, keep cumulative backups and cumulative archive sets so that if I want to find out something that I might have written on April 25th, 19, well, not all the way back into the 1900s, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm living in the past here. Jibalisco, the old fuddy-duddy. I have backups all the way back to, say, 2008 or 2007. So if I want to find out what I wrote on June 4th, uh, 2008, I can find it. I don't know when I'll ever need to find such a thing, but that need has arisen in the past. Strange and unusual requirements that pop up have come my way, and they'll come your way too in electronics. Uh, so this is my advice once again. Get yourself prepared for the worst possible scenario and then 
after people are done laughing at you for years for being such a Raja of redundancy, they'll stop when you have the backups you need to get by, and they don't. <clears throat> or more likely, they'll all show up at your house and expect you to save them. Like, for example, with my backup set of ways to stay warm, including that stove back there. I'm a, what am I, a thermal wuss. A thermal wuss. I do not want to be cold, and I do not want to be without communication. So even if the utilities fail, everything fails. Gas fails, I've got a wood stove. All the utilities fail, I've got a battery-powered radio with the battery always charged. That old FT-857D from big number eight, which I had to sell to pay the medical bills. I got that. I can get on the air even if the whole bloody world dies except for me and one other radio ham. That's it. Yeah, two, by the way. Radio ham, amateur radio operator. Whiskey, one, good vibrations. Signing off from the black holes of Dakota Territory. United States of Advertising. Until next time, peace out and so long.